Hi people, welcome. This is another Limitless video with some Limitless information. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own logo completely free using this secret site. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to head over to a place called Luca. It's L-O-O-K-A dot com. Okay, and basically what you need to do is just click on this link. This is going to open up uh, an online actual customization tool which is completely free and you see I've been playing around here with Limitless you can see it's actually remembered me and it's very very easy to use say for instance you were releasing your own product you could actually put um, happy solutions like so for affiliate and marketing like so okay you can choose what color you want you can choose what symbols and then you just hit update and what it's going to do is it's actually going to start creating logos okay now this is completely free so it's really really cool um, and you can choose what logo suits you so if, if you like this particular logo you just click on this logo um, you'll notice that it says customize okay this is because you have to buy this logo uh, but I'm going to show you a little trick which you can do so you can get this completely free. Okay, so you'll see that these are all the logos that it's giving you, and there's lots and lots of logos that you can use, etc. And what you can do, okay, is you can actually what we're going to do is we're going to capture the actual image so you'll see this one here for arguments that we're going to use what you want to do is you want to head over if you're using uh, windows you want to type in sn and this is going to bring up uh, a snipping tool that's built with inside windows which is this one here and then what you do is you click on the link go to new and then you want to copy that link like so then you want to save the link so it'd be happy solutions uh, and you could put uh, in brown so you know what it is and then you can hit save and you've now got that happy solution okay now you might think well where is it darren if you go inside here and go to quick access scroll down and you'll see that this is the actual logo here okay and then what you'd have to do is you'd have to default the size so the size that you use you just have to make sure that you default the size now if you think oh no darren i can't do that i think it's a bit difficult another place you can go to is canva canva is completely free i use this is all free okay and all you need to do is type inside here canva is www.canva.com and then what you basically do is you just put logo inside like so and hit enter and this is going to bring out loads and loads of different logos that you can use and then what you want to do actually is use the filter you want to scroll all the way down and you want to put free and then apply let's move this up and apply and then this is going to give you all the free versions that you can use without having to worry. So if, for instance, you like this one here, if you click on this one, click to customize. And then you can actually which, double click on this and you could put happy solutions like so. And what you do is you just drag it down like so. Move this about like that. And there you have it. Super easy. And you've just created a logo. And then with this one, you have the ability of actually saving it. So you want to put what your logo is. So it could be logo, happy, okay. And then basically you go up here, top right hand corner, and hit share. And you want to come down to download. 
you see it's in ping format this is in a high res okay so this is really good if you're doing a video and you want it to stand out so you hit download and then if you want to not be so memory hungry you want to go to share download jpeg and download that as well and you'll see that this will go directly to your computer now if you now go back to your computer which is right here quick access scroll down and you'll see that these you see this is the one which we actually used using the snipping tool if we go to downloads because it's defaulted to go to a download folder and when we open this up this is going to show you what we've just downloaded okay and the reason it's a little bit slow is because I'm actually using the video and when you use the video it does use a lot of memory plus also I've got too many tabs open up here the tabs I need to make sure that I shut down so if we just come off here go back on here and scroll through you'll see that the downloads will be coming through very shortly it's just got to re-index itself it's just a bit slow and that's it you can see that these are right these are the happy solutions and you can use these but these on your website however you see fit so hopefully that's information there is going to really help you um all the very best to my next video cheers bye now